Good morning. Hey there, Harvey Juanita. <clears throat> good morning. Good morning. How are you? Happy Monday. Good morning. Good morning. Hey there, Harvey Alia. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you guys. Again, happy happy Monday to you too. Hey, Harvey Anita. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Hope you got to get out and enjoy the great weather. Hey there, Harvey Rachel. Good morning. I am moving forward, not looking back Monday. Okay, okay, love it. Hey, Harvey Andrea. Hey, Harvey Eva. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Heartbeat Nation. I see a new face up there. Good morning to you and welcome to the Gathering of Hearts. Hey, Heartbeat Belinda, Heartbeat Smitty. Good morning, good morning. It was great. Thanks, Heartbeat Rachel. It was great. It was great. Had a great time. Hey, Heartbeat Rhonda. Good morning, good morning. Well, let's get started, guys. Good morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts by God Wants Me Whole. And today, <clears throat> excuse me, your daily dosage is Renew the Mind Part 3. Like, right, I know I said on Friday that that was it. I thought I was wrapping it up. But no, God's not quite finished with that topic. Hey, Heartbeat Queen O. Hey, Heartbeat Carolyn. Hey, Heartbeat Alicia. And so on Thursday and Friday, we talked about renewing the mind. So I'm just going to do a recap and then continue, okay? So... <clears throat> Thursday, we talked about um, renewing the mind and we went to Romans 12 to the NIRV version. And so I'm just going to read that. Don't live the way this world lives. Let your way of thinking be completely changed. Then you will be able to test what God wants for you and you will agree that what he wants is right. His plan is good and pleasing and perfect. And so we went over that on Thursday and I'm not going to go over that again. If you guys missed it, you can always go to the YouTube channel where Renew the Mind Part 1, Part 2 is there. You can catch up. So we went over that and then we talked on Friday about the benefits of renewing your mind. And we said, one, when we renew our mind, we find our identity is in Christ. We realize our sufficiency is in Christ. And then we're able to receive... Um, God and all that he has to give us, which is the blessing. Amen. And so how do I renew my mind? That's what we're going to talk about today. How do I renew my mind? Because it's one thing to hear me talk about it. It's one thing to understand the benefits, but how do I put this in place, Pastor G? How do I do this? I'm so glad you asked because I'm going to tell you. The first thing is you have to acknowledge that I'm living the way the world lives. You have to acknowledge that when I hear the word, see the word and understand the word, I'm able to to say, wait a minute, I'm not doing that. And I'm able to say, you know what? I need to correct that. So the first thing is just acknowledge I am not living the way God would have me to live in every area of my life. And there are some areas that I need to change. Number two is to do this, reject the world's way of living and turn away from it. You know, if I wasn't tithing, now I'm going to tithe. You know, if I was overeating, overeating. Now, no more gluttony for me. I'm going to push back from the table when I'm, you know, full or not completely full, but when I'm satisfied, I'm going to push back from the table. I don't care how good the food is. I'm just going to push back because I'm satisfied. I am not going to overeat and then get up and say, oh my goodness, I'm stuck. Just a little funny one there for you. Um, when I'm doubting the word, now I'm going to start receiving the word. I will, there will be no more doubt, but I will release my faith. Um, instead of doubting God, I will believe what God said the first time. And then I will apply the word of God to my life. And so again, one, acknowledge that I'm not living God's way in every area of my life. And then number two, those areas that I know that I'm not acknowledging him, reject that way of living, make a decision that I'm going to reject that way of living. I'm going to repent. I'm going to turn away from that. And now I'm going to start applying the principle that I know I need to apply in my life. Simple, right? Then number three, choose to focus on God. Focus on his mercy, his grace, and his love. See, so long we've been focusing on our mistakes. 
But we've got to learn to focus on God, focus on his mercy, focus on his grace, focus on his love. When I begin to focus on how much God loves me, when I begin to focus on the mercy that I did not get what I deserved, and then I focus on the grace, how he blessed me anyway, in spite of my faults, in spite of my flaws, in spite of my mistakes, in spite of my mind being thinking like the world, but I focus on how much he loves me, that it does not matter that he's coming to get me where I am, that he's still calling my name in the midst of it, that he's still waking me up every day, which means I have purpose, that my time is not up, that he's not finished with me. When I begin to focus on those things, see, I'm able to turn away from the world because God loves me. And it says, it's the, the Bible says, it's the goodness of God that causes a man to repent. So when I begin to focus on all that he's doing for me in spite of, in spite of, it makes me just want to do right. It makes me just want to live right. And so I'm able now to renew my mind and bring my thoughts up to God's thoughts and bring my ways up to God's ways because now that's where my focus is. I'm not focusing on me because it's not about me. I've got to realize that in this world that we're living today, that it is a battle going on between the king, the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light and I'm caught in the middle of it. But when I recognize that I belong to the kingdom of light, the kingdom of heaven, that the kingdom that I come from always win. Oh my goodness. It causes me to think differently. So my mind is being renewed. And so this helps me to reject the, um, the lies of the world. It helps me to reject the lies of Satan. It helps me to not even listen to what he's saying because now I'm focused on the word of God and I'm believing everything that he says about me. Number four, spend time in prayer. You know, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 says, pray without ceasing, never stop, always pray. So when I'm always praying, I'm always communicating with God, which means what? My relationship is growing. My relationship is getting deeper. You know, now I can sit up and lean back against God. I can feel his heartbeat. And I'm realizing that my heartbeat is beating on the same rhythm as he is. You know, he allows me to just sit at his feet and bask in his goodness and bask in his glory all because now I'm making a decision to pray without ceasing. I'm praying in the good times. I'm praying in the bad times. I'm praying whether it's indifferent. I'm just praying because this is the way that I communicate with my heavenly father and it's the way he downloads information to me. So again, I'm renewing my mind. I'm casting all of my care on God. I'm not going to anybody else talking about it. If someone has wronged me, I'm not calling somebody else to gossip about it. No, I'm praying and talking to my father. And because I'm renewing my mind, I'm not focusing on what they did to me. I'm praying for them. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Father, heal that brokenness that caused them to act that way. See, now I'm renewing my mind and all the all that's coming up out of my heart is the love that God has poured into me. Number um, five, study scripture. Medicate on the word of God day and night. We know scripture tells us that that's how we make our own way prosperous and we have good success. And so then number six, let me keep moving here so I can get these out. Number six, serve others and learn from them. Serve others and learn from them. You know, Jesus said that he came to serve and not to be served. And so when we find someone successful in the area that we're struggling in or the area that we're trying to perfect, learn from them, serve them, sit there with them, sit at their feet, study them, learn how they got out of where you are and then how they maintained it, how they stayed successful. And don't ever um, make the mistake of becoming too common with this person that God has placed in your 
life to help get you to the next level. Because when we become too common with them, we miss nuggets that they're dropping. We miss things that they're trying to get us to see because we've become too common. But ask God to show you someone that can help you maintain once you, you know, get, you know, that area under, you know, once you get it together, ask God to show you someone, Lord, place me in a room, place me in the atmosphere with someone that can help me with this area that I'm struggling with so that they can show me how they did it through you and now how they're maintaining it. Number seven, you guys know I am so serious about accountability partners. I am so serious. I just believe that when we have accountability partners, we're able to stay on track. Find you an accountability partner that will check you when you are not doing what you should be doing. So find you someone that you can trust, someone that's not going to judge you, but someone that is going to pull out the best you. Amen. Pull out the best you. So that someone is that person that's going to say, hey, I noticed that you're not praying like you used to. You used to always talk to me about your prayer time and what you got out of it. I have not heard you say anything. So you need somebody that's going to help push you into your purpose so that you can continue to renew your mind. Remember on Thursday, I said, this is not something that we do one time. We renew our minds daily. Amen. Um, number eight, listen to the voice of God because he's all always talking. God is always talking, be it through a TV program, be it through a billboard, be it through a conversation that you're having, be it through a conversation that you overhear, just be it in your quiet time, your still time um, with God. God is always talking and teaching us how to renew our minds. Amen. Well, that is your daily dosage for today. Renew your mind part three. If you did not see parts one and two, you've got to go back to the YouTube channel and check those out. In fact, if you haven't subscribed already to the YouTube channel, please do so because there you can find all of your dosages in one place. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Um, visit the website, godwantsmewhole.org. And then if you are out and about today, um, tune into WHUR 96.3. I'll be giving inspirational moments all throughout the day today. Hey guys, I love you guys a bunch. You know how we end this thing. Come on, let's say it. Say, God wants me whole and I'm getting whole by the minute. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Make sure you go out there and have a spec wow amazing day. Make sure you do something to renew your mind on today that you may walk in the will of God for your life. He has so much for you. You still have so much potential. potential. You still have purpose. God has a great destiny for your life. Get up, get out, and walk in it. I love you guys a bunch, and I'll see you tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m.